Almost the Film Doctor. We are here reviewing some of the best films ever. Without further ado, let's jump right into our movie review. <laughs> Till, uh, based on a true story, and anybody that's ever seen like a, a past episode of, of Filmatic, you already know that those kinds of films are ones that are genuinely close to my heart. Um, it means a lot because it shows history, and this one, in general, touches on black history. Uh, and for anybody that knows, I mean, just to watch how things were inside of the South, you know, compare that black people and how they act, how fearful they were, how they went about um, situations that were negative that dealt with them or their family, how they acted. Think about how black people act now. Six feet under, nigga. You hear me? Funeral service. It's seven now. Huh? It's nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm talking face on the brochure. Go away. Lights out. You hear me? Okay. Clap on, clap on. Okay. Huh? You got me fucked up, cuz. Come back. You Come got back. me Come fucked back. up, cuz. Come back. Come back. Three thugs, nigga. Okay. You understand? Ain't no okay. ass somebody. Don't fuck okay. around. You get shot by a pretty nigga, okay. nigga. That's how we act now. That is exactly how we act now. Compared to back in the day, you saw a different portrayal. So that's, that brings us to, fuck it, let's talk about it. Acting. The acting. Danielle Deadweiler and Jalen Hall. I think they did exceptionally well inside of the roles. Now Jalen Hall, you don't see much of him, but for his portrayal of Emmett Till, I don't know Emmett Till to say, hey, this was spot on. But, but however, for his portrayal of a kid who went through what he went through, who had a loving heart towards his family and towards others, that just saw a beautiful white woman, and how, I mean, how he talked to that white woman is different than how we talk to women now. Hey, pretty bitches. <laughs> I know you didn't just disrespect us and call us bitches. You talking about disrespect? Ain't nobody disrespect you. I said pretty bitches. Disrespecting you is calling you ugly bitches. It's a compliment. <laughs> That's how we talk to women now. <laughs> bitches don't know. That's exactly how we talk to women now. And it's just a whistle? Really? I mean, I think that he played, like I said, his role to a T, but uh, Danielle Deadweiler, she, I think she was the acting in this film. To see the different emotional changes, yeah, I don't know. I think that she composed herself really well to see that relationship between her and her son, to know how close they were. Yeah, there was a couple of times where she cried and it seemed like it was genuine, how uh, she was mad and angry, but you didn't see the, the true anger, I think. I think that I wanted to see more anger from that, from the, 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 the happiness of that, that mad black Medea woman, diary of a mad black woman kind of portrayal, at the same time as that, that sad emotional state from the connection with her, her son uh, and the loss of her son. I'm not gonna lie. I was worried. I've seen the, the actual picture of Emmett Till. I saw it. Uh, not gonna lie. When my, my first reaction was, Oh, hell no! I, I, I don't do well with, 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 with that kind of stuff. It, it will make me vomit. Uh, so it was different, but I, I think that the acting was spot on. Um, uh, in terms of those two characters, I mean, everyone did a really good job, but was it this Academy Award winning kind of performance from every single person where it was a phenomenal film? Uh, you know, if, if we're going to talk about A pluses and putting it up inside the A plus realm, it, just speaking on the acting, I, it was good, but I'm not going to put it Denzel Training Day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was just good for what it was. Uh, now, let's talk about the screenwriting. The screenwriting was good, um, but yeah, like I said, it's a story that we we all know, or most of us know, or have heard of, or know what's going to happen. It's kind of like Titanic. We know the ship is going to go down. So this is a story where 
can you convey that onto screen? And I, I hate to backtrack in terms of acting because I did leave out how I didn't know Whoopi Goldberg was in there and she did the good job. I didn't even know it was her. I don't know if she was in a Nutty Professor uh, costume or something. I don't know, I'm going to hell, but I didn't know that was Whoopi Goldberg. So, <laughs> sorry to move forward. Uh, back to the screenwriting is that, you know, there was a story that was told. Was it the story that I thought it was to be? Was it the story, you know, because there's so much speculation and there's so much um, history that is still happening under the stuff that we went through. Like at the end, they talk about how uh, Joe Biden had passed a um, Emmett Till lynching act um, and passed it into law. So we're still dealing with that stuff. The woman that uh, accused Emmett Till of uh, sexually assaulting her, et cetera, et cetera, she's still alive. We are definitely still feeling the effects of what happened. So to put that on paper, I just felt like the writing was, was okay for telling the story that we already know, but was it phenomenal? Was everything phenomenal in terms of the writing? It was decent. It wasn't average, it wasn't great, I, you know? It, it kind of takes me, you already see where I'm going in terms of my rating, um, but it is what it is. So let's talk about the music. music I really don't the music was average you know it wasn't like a uh, Black Panther or Avatar you know it was just average it was everything was and I don't want to say average to say C because this movie was good it was definitely worth watching it was definitely worth knowing the history if you don't know it um, but did the music bring me in significantly I, I, it could have been overlooked to tell you the truth uh, I don't really know uh, but I don't think that it stood out so much where I'm just like bro that music was amazing um, but it wasn't bad, so let's just not get that twisted. Let's jump into cinematography. I know we're going a little bit out of order, but it's going to be different every time here on Filmatic. Again, I mean, down the list, I can name everything. Every, nothing was like A plus, A plus, A plus, but nothing was like average, it sucked, C, C. This movie. I might as well just jump into it. We don't even need to talk about overall rating uh, inside of its own separate segment. I'm just gonna throw my overall rating right now into this segment and say that to me it was like a B plus. It was it was worth watching. It was it was entertaining um, to um, to see something that we we only know bits and pieces of and to see how historically it unfolded. Uh, whether um, how accurate or inaccurate that was inside of the film to the actual happenings, um, to see the racism that took place back in the day. I think that if you are somebody that loves those kinds of films that are historical, um, based on historical events that you enjoyed this movie, um, to check it out. Check it out for yourself. Like I said, I mean, it, I say that A range caliber for like the best of the best of the best, and it's not to say it's bad, uh, it's not to say that it was super amazing, but I would say that it's probably in between both of those. So B plus leaning towards some things could have been better in order to make it a better attraction, so to speak. So that's all I have for you guys today. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, check us out next time on another exciting episode of Filmatic.